this is not their take, the organization's take. But me personally, I don't really care about the elected officials and what they think. I really don't. I'm doing this for everyone else who wants to come here, the regular person who wants to, who do, who does care, who wants to make a change, who wants to make a shift. I don't care what the elected officials think. I really Why don't. Because they haven't affected real change, and they won't affect real change because it's not in their best interest. Activists across Canada coming together once again for another Friday climate strike. But after years of rallies, years of meetings, years of waiting for change, some say they're not expecting anything from elected leaders. It all feels like it's for nothing. It all feels like the democratic process is, is rotten and it doesn't work. And why should we believe in it? You know, we see the numbers of voters going down every year. Less people participate in this democracy because they don't believe in this democracy. Organizer Matthew Van Abema wants to be clear. He doesn't speak for the global climate strike movement, but Van Abema says he and most of his friends have given up on voting and the democratic process. Others not affiliated with Van Abema tell City News even parties that promise climate action don't follow through and see few consequences for it. There is a acceptance of broken promises in Canada, and that's kind of built into our political system, and there needs to be a lot more accountability to our people. It's our futures that are on the line, and I'm sick and tired of plans being proposed and nothing being followed through. Since the 90s, we've had nine different climate plans. Not a single target has been met. It's embarrassing. We're one of the lowest ranking G7 nations in the world for climate action and one of the biggest fossil fuel producers. Though initiated as a youth-led movement, participants of all ages, including seniors for climate action, now were at Parliament Hill. One of their protesters, more circumspect, saying that while democratic lawmakers are controlled by the fossil fuel industry, democracy is the only option we've got. The only hope we've got is a government that can stand up to them. And unless we organize together to change the government to one that can stand up to big oil and stand up to big mining companies and to stand, stand up to the nuclear power industry, we're all in trouble. In Ottawa, Shally Lee, City News.